Hello and welcome to my channel Greenline Goddess Tarot. This is your weekend reading for the 22nd and 23rd of October. So we are in the final days of Libra season. So let's see what's coming in and concluding this season. So let's see what's coming through in for the weekend. It's been interesting energy of late. The the Seven of Pentacles wanted to come out. Yep, I think we'll we'll take that. We'll let it come out. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. It was kind of a bit hesitant, but it's uh, contemplating contemplating growth. What? It, how are you going to bring in some growth in an area in your life? So let's see what else is coming through for the weekend. Let's see what is coming in. Just got to get the right frequency into the cards. They're not feeling quite right yet. Oh, we've got the King of Wands. Okay, so yeah, how are you going to take action with that? It's kind of a contemplation. Oh, it's all coming out. Boom. Okay, the tower came out. Oh, there's something hot hidden here. We're getting into this very eclipse-like energy here. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, oh, Ace of Pentacles. Look what was hidden. An opportunity was hidden. Unexpected opportunity comes in. Boom. Which you can move on from something and complete. Okay. So just how are you going to, yeah, completion energy coming through with the world and transitioning and moving on. So, yeah. Okay. We're already seeing the eclipse energy coming through. It's sneaking in. As you know, we're in eclipse season. We do have an eclipse coming in on the 25th. Or give or take or day depending on where you are so potentially as you know it's a new moon in Scorpio as you know sometimes this energy comes in if it's particularly intense comes in you know three to five days earlier so it's kind of kind of hijacked the reading <laughs> with the tower energy so it kind of feels exciting though in the back of I feel like you're the king of wands in the back of your mind here comes the tower boom there's something that you hadn't thought of before or seen before, which is this new opportunity of the Ace of Pentacles. And you're like, ah, that can help me move on from this dilemma I'm seeing with the Seven of Pentacles where I'm going, I need to bring in more of something. I want something to grow and I'm just not sure how. And then the solution could be an amazing download that comes through with the tower, boom, activated. And then it's like, aha, now I know what seed to plant here. The seven of pentacles is there contemplating a seed going, yeah, where am I going to plant this or how am I going to plant this? And it's like this big aha moment. And it might be something very different. <laughs> it might be like, ah, that's not the seed I was thinking of planting, but this could be much better. So it's next to the Six of Swords, which is able to uh, be able to transition, move on uh, from a bit of drama, something that you kind of were contemplating and weren't sure about a direction and of. So, yeah, it is also the card of moving. So you might, unexpected events might occur where you might think, right, I have to move or uh, move jobs, make a move, bring in something new. Uh, move home it could be any of those sort of things it doesn't have to necessarily be that but it, the six of swords is also the card of travel but I think metaphorically it's more of a metaphorical thing with the six of swords I mean it can be literal I just feel this is kind of a this opportunity allows you to move on from some drama and find some peace and to we see the world card you know there's completion here so if it's kind of like I don't know how to finish this or I don't know how to get this to kind of you know, reach a completion stage that's what happens with the world card it's like boom uh, it's almost like yeah done it, you don't have to do that anymore it's something new coming through so yeah wow so expect these little um, unexpected seeds to come up around eclipse season that could potentially change your mind change your direction especially on the you know the seven of pentacles is very taurian energy so it's going to be around a lot of taurus and scorpio energy so scorpio is very psychological and deep and Scor and taurus is about the earth your relationship to resources and the earth so we're seeing a lot of that here with the resources coming in with the ace of pentacles and the seven of pentacles and yeah i just feel like there's something that goes on inside your mind that you're like aha and that can free me from a cycle so yeah it's um it brings in the liberation and freedom it's like suddenly something makes sense 
So, uh, yeah, fascinating. I think this is not, this is the start of the eclipse like energy that's coming through. Unexpected things with the eclipses. So, even though we're getting it for this weekend reading, maybe it doesn't actually come in for it. They can come, it's just saying this seed exists. It's kind of interesting because, yeah, we saw the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Now we're saying, going back to that sense of they were showing you that there was a seed that was there that hadn't quite activated yet or you hadn't quite like landed on it. It was a couple of days ago and I'm like, well, when's the Ace of Pentacles going to come in the right way up? And boom, in it comes with the tower unexpected. Again, eclipse-like energy. And I get the message this is not the first the first thing that's coming in and activating here, there could be quite a few changes that come through in terms of opportunities that you are intuiting here with the Tower card. So kind of exciting stuff. Uh, and, yeah, get ready for the ride. We're, we're in eclipse season. So just the best way to kind of work with this energy is to just understand that eclipses want to bring change uh, especially the Taurus energy because it's the North Node energy. It wants to bring something that is your soul wants to take you into this new soul growth cycle. What is it that your soul is moving you towards that it wants you to learn and grow? And quite literally with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like wanting you to grow from an experience with your relationship on the earth and your relationship to how you're managing <laughs> your world and your home, your health, your money. And so, yeah, definitely the King of Wands wants to take action and so yeah I feel like there's just boom this is going to be something that kind of yeah could change and perceive the way that you're seeing a lot of things so yeah interesting it's fascinating but yes here we have the first eclipse like seed that comes through and it's here for your personal growth your soul growth so to remember that because eclipses bring change sometimes good, sometimes not so good, but ultimately they have that higher purpose. So hmm, that is it. That's the reading for the weekend. Look forward to seeing you next week.